Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Darcy's Misadventures with Mix Media, and I just have a short video for you today, I think. Um, this is one of my favorite flowers that I draw, so I thought I would show you how I do it. Well, I guess I did that one that way in the middle. I don't know. Um, this is a nice notebook to have. It is, uh, it's the size that I like, because it's like, it's three and a half by five, and I don't usually want my, uh, my little fodder pieces or collage pieces or focal points to be bigger than that anyway so it works really nice um, for for doing something like this um, so I actually uh, trace that on here just so that I would have an idea um, because the hard thing is getting that circle in the middle but I'll, st I'll still try <laughs> I'll try without having something underneath um, but if if you don't have that um, ability well you can always just take you just need a, a little circle in the middle. Doesn't have to be a perfect circle, and that is like super light. Um, but basically, I go around this circle doing like just little squiggly marks. Just little, just, can you see? Just random, just pressing it lightly and uh, just getting something like that. And then for my petals, I just, I just go out. I don't worry. Um, I don't get them all perfectly the same. Um, you know what I mean? I'm just going out if, um, and I don't worry about if it's a uh, perfectly the same all around either because, uh, flowers are, are not perfect. And if I have more space between one and another one, I, I don't worry about that either. Um, and sometimes I will purposefully kind of like flatten one out like that and that, then I can just kind of come in here like that petal is, is, uh, flipped over like that. And then just just kind of just keep making my petals. Uh, there's, you know, I don't come to an exact point in the middle, which gives me plenty of room. Um, and then, if, you know, if I wanted to, like, be like, oh, there's a petal here, too, but it's just kind of hiding behind that one, then I just can do that. It's, it's fine. If I do that there, I might do it somewhere else, too. Like, uh, that one can have a petal folded over, too. Why not? And let's see, and then, so in the middle, I usually, a lot of times I'll do circles. Um, here, I did just little hash, just little, go across, messily, not perfectly, and then just, so then you have a cute little um, thing. And then I will usually just come over here, just to give it a little bit of a shadow, just kind of, you know, like that, just mess messily. And then I have my stem, so um, I'm thinking my stem kind of comes down from the middle, so I just follow my pen, pen down to there. Make it fairly straight. Um, let's see, it's right there. So it's, it's hiding behind that petal, which is fine. And uh, you could go off the page with it, or you could go straight across or at an angle. I think I went straight across on that one. And then my leaves. Uh, because like daisy leaves are usually a little bit um raggedy so then I just kind of go um, straight and then squiggle and then straight and squiggle so that one's going out and then I do that too usually so this one I'll go lower and I'm gonna have it go more up so it's um coming behind that a little bit even and then also kind of go that and then I like to do these little um, patchwork, like 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 my flower was broken and it got fixed. Got a little patchwork done on it. So down on one of the leaves, I'll usually do one. And then um, on three to five petals, depending. So I usually do them on the side. They don't have to be on the side. They could be, um, they could even just be, you know, this whole top bit, you know. And then I'll just, you could do all the same pattern in each one or a different pattern. We'll do a little stripes here and do little polka dots here. Just whatever kind of patchwork fabric you might have in your stash, you know what I mean? And then here I might do um, lines going this way. Um, or I might even go across and then I could just do 
a little checkerboard thing so I could fill in every other one if I had my glasses on. I have to have my glasses on to fill them in. So then you just, you know, you could do a little checkerboard. And then here I might do bigger circles that are open that maybe later I would fill in um, the around around it spots and make those white polka dots, you know what I mean? And then it's nice to have just little flicks coming out the middle. Could have them be the same length, different length. You do one, two, or three for the smaller ones. You know, sometimes I might do one, and then that just gives it a little bit of a uh, um, something, something. And then also, if you wanted to, which I didn't do on this one, I'll do another flower, which is a little bit different. Um, just to show you, uh, let's see, it's going to be more like where is it? Pretty sure it's back here. Sometimes I'll do them back further so then I can just trace them and just do a whole bunch of that one kind of flower. Like that one, I think I traced from here and then trace that onto there. So they're a little bit different each time. They're not perfect, but you know, it makes it easier. Um, and then that one, I just drew it. Oh, this one, I want to show you how I do this one, which is just, I just am more wonky with my leaves and my middle is much bigger. So for this one, I'm gonna do more of an oval. So if you need to, you know, get your oval shape in there with a pencil, go for it. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just lightly. Um, oh, and I'm using a Micron PN. Use whatever pen you like. You can even use to use a ballpoint pen if you want to. Just remember if you erase your pencil lines later to be sure to um, make sure it's dry before you erase your pencil line. So now I'm just doing a bunch of little circles in the middle. You could even just go swirly. You don't even have to stop your circles. You could just swirly, <laughs> you know, like that. I think you can see. Okay. And then I'll come over here and do more swirls like that just to give a shadow over here. Because if the light's coming from here, the shadow would be over here, right? All right. And then how did I do these petals? I just, oh my goodness. I, I just kind of... I do them a little bit more freely, and I don't know if I could do that on camera, but just don't worry. Some of them will be more straight. Some of them will not. It's all right. But there's just something about them that I kind of like. And some of these, you see I went close on the sides further apart on the outside edges. That one is further apart too. There's no rhyme or reason for me. Why would I make sense? And then this one, we can even have just kind of come behind that one just a little bit. And then I usually come right down around the middle, find the middle and then do my stem. Like that. Just try to be as straight as possible, but it's okay if you're not. If it gets wider in one spot, don't worry about it. Um, sometimes I will just kind of do little tiny lines down the stem so that it's got something in it but isn't totally solid. Um, depends on how wide my stem is, too. And then for this flower, I just kind of did one leaf, and I just did it bigger. So I just came out like this and like that and then do my little barbed wire thing. And this one can go ahead and have a piece of patchwork there, piece of patchwork here, maybe a piece over here. And here I might have that petal come down like that. Here is, I probably, see how there's a big dent in that? That's kind of where there'd be like a, the leaf is over. So I won't color in those two because those aren't um, patches. Those are leaves turned over. Unless the other side of your leaves are a different color, then that's fine too. Um, so I've got a patch here, a patch here. So I probably want to go ahead and do a patch there. I don't do straight lines. I kind of do them wiggly. And then, you know, do your patterns in your patches however you like. And if you need to slow this down or go back and watch it several times, that's fine too. But these are just some of the things that I like to draw that I just 
I just like the way they look too. I don't know. Even though, you know, it's a, it's, it should fit on an index card size because that's the size these papers are. You, you don't have to buy uh, this notebook. You can just cut your papers down to size and make your own little notebook or just, you know, have papers in a little envelope or whatever. This is almost like a little bit of a plaid kind of a deal with the two lines with the bigger space going both ways. Um, are there any other patterns that I haven't done? Uh, not really. I just do some closer together checks here. I like the checks. And I like the circles. And then also you don't have to do circles. You could do little flowers. You could just do uh, even like little squares. They could be rectangles and squares. Just like that, just a little pattern. And then for these, because I have all my really wonky little bits, I would, where it comes in especially, just kind of make a little V, a little bit of a flick. That's what technical term that Cheryl, the, uh, the whole bucket, I'll link her below. She is doing on Wednesday, she is doing some um, doodle, dabbling and doodling. And uh, so, you know, she's my, this is where I, I mean, I already did this, but with my stuff, but she teaches how to do this too with the, do your little V and then flick. I didn't know, it. Um, this one's actually sticking out a little bit, that's okay. It just kind of gives some, makes it look like there's little folds in your leaves maybe. I don't know, just this one will come from the side. This one has a really big thing here, so I'm just going to come in like that. Maybe do it up here a little bit. And here, just a little V and a flick. And uh, it just gives some texture to your flower, I think. And then you could still, did I with this one? Yes, I did. So on the inside, I might kind of go a little line and a dot and then here I'm gonna do line two dots line dot line two dots line two dots line dot I do it, try to be random with it like there's a shorter line and a or sometimes at the same length it doesn't matter and if there's like a, a really wide one there might be three of them just just for funsies oh this one might want one you can go in or out as far as you want or whatever and then you could even um, do another line around this if you want to which I do sometimes and I either fill it in or I leave it em um, empty or might even um, like just do little lines so then it looks like there's kind of like two bits of fabric like a double layer or whatever it's whatever you like like I think I did that on this one. I have my double lines and then that one's got little tiny X's, little tiny, tiny X's. That one does not have the double line. That one just has the little lines and that one does not have the double line. So on this one, I was random. I was like, some of them have double lines, some of them don't. Two little X's on this one, just tiny little X's. Cause why not? Oh, and then also sometimes, let me go back to that first one, if I can find it. We can do it on this one even. Um, I might just do little stitch marks. Just so that you can see that they were sewn back on. They were little stitched on pieces of fabric is what these are. And then you could even do little stitch marks here and there on your leaves. To just make them look a little bit more ratty. So I don't know how helpful that was, but that is how I like to draw my little patchwork flowers. Um, and I want you guys to be able to do it too. The more you do it, the easier it will be. And once you get one that you like, just start tracing it. They'll be a little bit different each time. And uh, then you can use them as focal points on some collage pieces or painting pieces or whatever kind of pieces you like. And these grungy numbers are from Tailor Made Journals. I uh, hope you all have a delightful day. Love you.